the multi-purpose building was really multi-purpose in the sense that from the most formal events, graduation, masses, family day, lahat yan dito ginagawa. If this were a house, this is our living room. Looking around the multi-purpose hall or building, um, it brings back a lot of memories. Pero sa akin, this building is my uh, playground. Uh, it was my first basketball court. I remember my basketball years when we were just happy playing our game and doing our basketball drills. During my break time, especially in grade school, uh, I'd spend my breaks here in the library looking for my favorite books. It was my comfort zone, you know, reading, reading books, and um, so that's my way of having adventures, like through my imagination, and it brought me places. In high school, uh, I'd, I'd be going here, not just to look for books, but just to hang out with my barcada. So the retreat house, I remember just, at first, it was just really a big slumber party for everyone. But really now, it's more as an adult and as a mom, it was just that opportunity for us to realize that we're always, always welcome and there's that comfort of coming home, that we're always going to have that comforting feeling of um, being calm and still. Seeing how everything comes to life again, just like before, looking at it, the corridors, the classrooms. Now it's a bit smaller, but it still feels like getting yourself up ready for school. The open environment is such a helpful tool for creativity, and that's why maybe you will find me meandering around. Every corner of this school has a memory ng mga barkada ko dito. I'm so grateful kasi na nakabalik ako. Siyempre, pag naiisip ko yung school, number one na nafe-feel ko, I'm so excited. Lahat ng memories ko dito from grade school to high school, lahat yan babalik sa akin. Coming home to me is remembering all those people who were part of molding us. There are a lot of teachers or people in this school that I will really never forget. Those people will always have a special place in my memories and my heart, diba? Siguro ko kwento ko na lang si Sir Benny. Kapag ako na, I did very well. He will invade your personal space. He would do like this to you and say, good job. And look straight at you. Yung mga little rituals na ganun, that fostered the love ko for excelling in my job. Siyempre si Miss Wensi. She's the one na talagang hindi ko nakakalimutan. She was just very inspiring to me because uh, she was like the ate that I never had. I remember Miss um, Wensi telling me, you know Bambi, you see the world in rose-colored lenses. I, at the time, I didn't even know what that means. But now, it translates to something that you always look at things positively and I think that's really helping me carry me through. You see Miss Hilario, she always made math fun. She broke things down in a way that it's easy to understand. You know, we're doing homeschooling and they say na, how can you teach it that way? And I say na, it's because of Miss Hilario. Miss Dang Amante was my coach, not just my coach, but also my mentor, my motivator and a friend. Tying with that, Miss Devera, because of her, I really, really um, became committed to playing and um, committing to music. I had back pains all the time, and Nurse Rose would always be there to take my temperature, even if she knew that I didn't have a fever. She'd give me hot compress, and it always felt like I was home. The janitor, if you need anything, nandiyan agad si, si Mang Lito to, to help us. The Manangs, I cannot remember all their names, but um, they are very important. Everyone helped us. Coming home for me means coming back to that simple old OD who was always very happy to be with her friends and just happy frolicking around the campus. Ang dami nang nangyari sa buhay natin. And you have so many responsibilities and so many experiences that came your way after high school. 
that sometimes it can be overwhelming. This is sort of a self-renewal for me. Now that I'm here with my classmates, it's like a mini reunion. It's been really fun <laughs> and kind of exciting. A little sad, mostly happy. AA served to be as my second home at the time. And this was my place of solace where I can be myself. All the trees and the quiet place, the birds that I hear, it's very calming and it keeps my mind um, uh, serene and clear again. It's a part of our lives, you know, and uh, we have so many memories here. <laughs> Coming home, for me at least, is coming back to myself. Coming back to the arms of the people I love, who are my friends. Coming home to AA, I think, is a perfect expression of our homecoming. It is very much us, because we are a comfortable group. We, we cozy up to each other, like one joke sets us all into a gel-like motion and we're like, you know, we're just like friends again, just like high school. It never felt like it was 25 years. You have been very good and you have been very quiet during the Mass. You will now have a long recess. Yeah.